Don't you ever knock? Logan Sanders got taken downtown this morning. Sean Cahill. Son of the bitch is throwing shit at the wall to see what sticks. And what stuck? Wexler. Logan found out we bought that stock. Did you tell him why we kept it from him? He didn't seem to care. All right, well, it doesn't matter because you're going to end this takeover battle now. What do you think I've been doing for the past month? Harvey, I don't think you understand what I'm saying. This guy's already looking at us for collusion. The longer this thing drags on, the more likely he is to come after us for buying that stock. In other words, end this thing. Not in other words. In those exact words. Hey, look what the cat dragged in. Such a serious expression. It's because we need to have a serious conversation. Well, let's get to it. I want you to come up with a number that we can pay you to end this thing. And why would I do that? Because Sean Cahill hauled Logan into the SEC. Well, all that means is that you can't vote the shares that you stole from me. And that is a you problem. Mike, it takes two people to make a case for collusion. So if he's coming at us, he's coming at you, which means it's a we problem. Yeah, you can try and spin it any way you want, but I'm happy right where I am. I guess you agreed to this meeting just to waste my time, huh? Whoa, 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 whoa. Who said I don't want a deal? Don't play me. Here's the new deal. You don't buy me out. I buy you out. What? We tried it Logan's way, now we're gonna try it mine. Mike. Because the only way I get in a room with that guy is if you guarantee that I leave with Gillis Industries. He's not gonna agree to that. And that's another you problem. You're a half hour late. You got stuck in traffic. I was starting to think you didn't want this company. Harvey, I wouldn't be getting in a room with that guy if I didn't. Good. So we're not going to have trouble in there? Not for me. Then let's get this thing over with and get back to normal. Keep that in mind. Logan, sorry I'm late. Let's get to it. Mm. All right. Just so we're clear, we're agreeing to have you buy us out. Good. I think you'll find this more than generous. It is. You gonna try and spread this over a thousand payments? All up front. Then all that's left is for you to pull out your checkbook. Well, actually, there is one more thing. You said it, Harvey. Let's get things back to normal. What are you talking about? Once this deal is done, you go back to being my lawyer and he's out. What? You sign that, I'm Harvey's client, and you're looking for new representation. <laughs> this is bullshit. It's not bullshit. Apple and Dell don't have the same attorneys, and neither will you and I. Mike, you two aren't those two, and I can represent you both. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. Because it's not about who you represent, it's about who Rachel represents. All right, enough. We agreed to a number, we can work this out another time. No, we're gonna work it out right now. No, we're not. Then you don't have a deal. God damn it, Mike. This isn't the time to do this. This is exactly the time to do it because this is the last time I'm ever gonna be in a room with him. Well, finally something we can agree on. Then let's agree to something else. We let Harvey choose which one of us he wants to represent after today. Mike, do not put me- Done. And now that we've agreed to let Harvey decide, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. The way he got me into this room in the first place was he knows that I've got 10 deals lined up after this. Logan. Decide. I'm going with Mike. What? Mike's my guy, you knew that going in. I don't give a and I don't think Jessica Pearson is going to let you pick him over me. Jessica has nothing to do with this. You just agreed to those terms. Those were terms. You're going back on your word? What does it look like? Looks like there's no deal on Gillis. Mike, you didn't have to blow up the deal like that. Your client blew up the deal. Because you blindsided him. Fine. And once he's had time to think about it, you go back and you convince him. Convince him? You should have come to me first instead of looking to rub it in his face. I wasn't rubbing anything in anyone's face. Oh, you had leverage and you want to make sure he knew it. And when he had leverage, he made sure I knew it. And I didn't agree to a deal and then break my word 10 seconds later. And I'm giving you my word. Close this deal and as soon as it's wrapped up, he's out. And what about Jessica? Is she going to agree to it? Let me deal with Jessica. Oh, just like you did on Wexler. That was a different thing and you know it. Do I? 
Get him to agree up front, or we don't have a deal. Whoever said size doesn't matter never saw this table. Is that an insult or a compliment? Knowing you, Charles, you'll take it as both. How'd you get in here, Harvey? You call in through the vents? I told your secretary I was George Clooney's brother. She said it was obvious who got the looks in the family. <laughs> Great. Do me a favor. Tell her she's fired on the way out. Can do. But first, I wanted to show you these. You want to give me the Aston Martin? Give is a strong word. <laughs> you want me to buy you out? You're going to buy me out. So why come to me instead of Mike Ross? Because I put him and Logan Sanders in a room together, and those two let their personal shit get in the way of business. So what makes you think these two are going to do any better? Because as much as you hate my guts, you want this deal and that car as much as I do. Harvey, taking your car is tempting, but I don't think buying you out makes sense anymore. Why not? Because you're standing there asking me to do it. Now, walk your sorry ass out of my office. Okay, Charles. But I'm afraid you're forcing me to use my leverage on you. You don't have shit on me, pal. Who do you think bought that Wexler block three days ago? I don't give a shit who bought it three days ago, because it just went back on the market 30 minutes ago, and you're looking at the man who owns it now. <laughs>